वेलकम बैक टू कैट कैम ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन एंड असेंबल ए ब्यूटीफुल स्टॉप वॉल सी दिस इज द स्टॉप वॉल ए वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वी विल डिजाइन ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट एंड असेंबल एट द एंड सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड लाइक आवर वीडियोज सी दिस इज द सेक्शन व्यू यू कैन रोटेट दिस वॉल अप एंड डाउन इट विल मूव we will see in our lecture how to make this relation and i i am sure you will like it so let's start how to design in solid works now we are going to sketch a first part of wall body so let's start choose right plane sketch select center line and draw center line again choose one center line now exit select a line draw one geometry here now exit now just select mirror entities and select this all parts and mirror about this line okay now choose three point arc okay now assign dimension two hundred thirty five mm Twenty two mm. Okay. Now select offset entities. Select this part. Uncheck. Select chain. Offset keep seven mm. Select. Okay. Now select this point and this point. Make merge point. Now choose dimension between these two points. Three hundred six mm. Okay. Now this one little move. Choose center line and draw one center line. Select a smart dimension and assign distance from this point to this line. One hundred twenty-five mm. And this point sixty-two point five mm. Okay. Now this point little move up. Choose chamfer, twenty mm. Select both the end. Okay. Now. Sixty-two mm. This one, okay. And this one, one hundred twenty-five mm. Now select distance between this point and this line. Now 
ड्रॉ ए सेंटर लाइन फ्रॉम हियर टू दिस पॉइंट नाउ एग्जिट नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू मेक नाउ जस्ट मूव दिस पॉइंट लिटिल अप नाउ सेलेक्ट स्मार्ट डायमेंशन this end point and this point select this line make vertical now choose the smart dimension this point and this t5 mm okay now our geometry is finished almost now go to revolve boss base select okay now see the body is ready choose fillet keep 10 mm keep 20 mm select this inside and inside okay now we will do some little modification edit choose this radius keep 10 mm exit now this radius is better now choose right plane section view okay select right plane sketch normal <laughs> choose line draw a geometry like this again choose the line now exit choose circular pattern select this as a point keep two numbers and select the okay now delete this part select this point and this point merge this point this point merge now we will define some dimensions select 50 mm draw one center line and define some dimension this point to this point 156 mm <coughs> and define one more dimension this point to this point sorry this point to this point oh. 176 mm 
ओके मूव डाउन चूज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दिस टू सिक्सटीन एम एम ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस लाइन एंड दिस लाइन पैरल ओके डिटेल अप Now choose make angle one fifty degree. Okay. Now these points are almost defined. Now just move this point. Select this point and origin point. Coincide. Now our geometry in midpoint. Okay. Now select extruded boss and choose here up to surface. Select inside surface. Direction two, up to surface. Select this surface. Select OK. Now see, the inside wall is ready. Section view. See, the inside passage and inside blocks are ready. Okay. Now we will go for further operation. Now select right plane, sketch. Select normal. Choose line, and draw one vertical line from origin point. Exit. Select this line for construction. Now choose a line and start to draw. Go back and draw a half circle and up to here. Select this point and this point. Same. Now assign distance. Five mm. This point to this point. first outside one thirty eight mm eighty five mm and this one eighty one mm Okay. Now delete this line. Draw up to here. Now exit. Just trim this inside. Okay. Now choose dimension. Twenty eight mm, okay. Now distance from here to origin point one forty two mm, okay. Sixteen mm.
okay now all the things are defined so let's go for select revolve boss base select okay now see the here some extra portion we want to cut it so just edit here unmerge result okay now go to surface choose knit surface select this surface okay now here select this body knit and choose cut with surface auto select select this body okay undo this one keep reverse okay so now see inside portion cut but still this this is two different bodies so we want to connect it so just right click here and direct editing and choose combine command add select this body and this body okay now see both the bodies are combined so our wall body is almost near to complete so let's go for further operation now select right plane section keep color okay right plane sketch normal now choose line and start to draw a vertical line from origin point exit select this line construction now choose a line draw a line up to here down up to this line and up to here up to this point and connect now exit from the line now choose the smart dimension and define this distance first we will assign bigger distance eighty five mm the second line seventy eight mm and this one seventy two mm and this height ten mm okay select a line exit choose stream entities and delete this this portion okay now choose revolve cut select okay now this surface click hide now see the portions are looking inside now choose fillet select this 20 mm okay again choose fillet select those all inside then mm
ओके सेलेक्ट ट्वेंटी एम एम एंड सेलेक्ट दिस एज कैंसल इट जस्ट डू वन थिंग वन स्टेप अप फिलेट ओके नाउ ड्रैक डाउन दी स्टेप सो दिस इज दी अवर स्टेप्स आर क्रिएटेड Keep five mm. Select this end. Okay. Edit. Choose this also five mm. Okay. so now almost our half portion completed now we will make some fillet keep 20 mm select this end okay now again choose fillet keep 5 mm and select inside okay now select this all fillets right click and here add to new folder choose fillet okay now click this way sketch normal choose circle choose center line draw one center line now draw one circle here and keep diameter 16 mm and the length of the line keep 100 mm okay now choose circular pattern choose this center and select this four numbers okay now select extruded cut and choose up to surface and select back surface choose okay now again select this sketch choose extruded cut and here choose surface face plane and select this face and choose up to surface and select back surface click okay now the holes are created now we will do one thing now we will click hole wizard we will add some hole in this top surface choose this one straight tab iso bot bottoming tab and this one choose m20 and here choose blind keep 35 and 30 mm come down near side okay select positioning choose champ polygon draw one polygon here assign diameter 225 mm select this line straight now choose point here 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 now the points are allocated in their perfect place okay 
now here this is the thread just go to option documents detailing click here shaded cosmetic thread okay now see the threads you are going to see this is the thread actually cosmetic thread not real thread it is cosmetic thread now we will go for further operation now we will assign some color to this body save this body as a valve body and we will assign some color like uh, okay this is our valve body now let's go for next part save now we will create next part valve cover so choose right plane sketch select center line exit again draw a line exit select this line construction now choose line and start to draw from here go back and draw us okay now exit now we will assign some dimensions fourteen mm twenty eight mm eighty eight mm one thirty eight mm this one 81 mm and this one 35 mm okay now this distance 47 mm Six mm, twenty two mm, minus six mm. Okay. Now define the distance from here to this point fifty mm. Okay. This one little move up. Now define the angle. Sixty degree. Okay. Now the geometry is fully defined. Everything is fine and defined. Six six. Okay. Now choose revolve boss base. Select this as a axis. Okay. Now select this face. Sketch normal. Draw a line. Select this line for construction. 
choose circle and draw one circle now assign the distance 112.5 mm and the diameter 20 mm okay now choose circular pattern select this center as a center and select the circle and we want six number of holes okay now select extruded cut and choose through all select okay now we will choose hole wizard this one iso broadening m24 27 and 24 mm now positioning choose a line and draw one line delete select this line for construction purpose now choose this line and mid point origin point choose mid point keep distance 120 mm now select point and put the holes are here choose okay now go to documents detailing and keep shaded cosmetic thread okay now see the threads are looking here again go to hole wizard choose m12 15 by 12 select position choose a line assign length 88 now select this point and this line midpoint choose for construction okay now distance 88 now put this holes okay now see the holes you can easily see this hole now see this is the holes and all cancel now save the color make little less dark okay now save as a cover now we will sketch third part spindle of valve body so choose right plane sketch select center line and draw one vertical line now exit 
choose line and start from here okay okay now exit just extend this line and extend this up to this line now we will assign distance 11 14 17 and this also 14 20 and 12 now we will define height thirty two. 190 90 mm 9 mm 31 and the last one height is 26 Now connect from this end to this end. Okay. Now choose Revolve Boss Base. Select OK. Now this spindle body is ready. Select this face, sketch normal. Now choose center rectangle and draw one rectangle. Keep length 25 mm, 25 mm. Select extruded cut and choose offset from surface. Select this surface. Keep offset 3 mm. Okay. edit feature and flip side to cut ok now see now again choose right plane sketch normal now we want to create a hole here assign distance from here to origin point 9 mm and diameter 4 mm ok now select this center point and origin point vertical select extruded cut choose through all mid plane through all ok Now choose chamfer
select 2 mm select this face okay now we will go to view annotation cosmetic thread cancel it first give chamfer 2 mm this space ok now insert view and cosmetic thread select this edge and select this face choose standard ISO and 24 mm select ok now go to detailing shaded ok Now re-edit cosmetic thread, see it is not looking so click edit, increase the length 15, ok. Now our thread is looking here, select this face, sketch and select this, this circle, choose convert entities, this is converted. Now go to helix and spiral now we want to choose here height and pitch keep the height 120 mm pitch 6 mm zero degree select ok now select right plane sketch normal draw one rectangle here and keep 3 mm ok now select this face and this face equal ok now select this point and this point select this point and select this choose peers now it is peers here exit now go to feature select swift cut the sketch is selected now select path ok uh, it is looking reverse so we want to change it just go to helix edit choose counter clockwise ok now assign metal color See, this is the now save it as a spindle. Now we will create next part bridge for wall choose right plane sketch draw a center line ok and again draw a horizontal line select this line construction now choose line and start our geometry we 
go reverse back and draw a half circle okay now assign distance fourteen mm twenty six mm ninety mm height this height keep first 10 mm and this height keep 28 mm okay select this line and this point in same position okay so this is the our geometry is ready choose revolved boss base select this okay now select this top surface sketch normal draw a center line select this line for construction draw circles draw two circles and keep diameter 60 24 choose a line connect from here to this point make mirror this line about okay now again choose mirror and select this all circles both the lines and choose mirror about this line okay now define distance between this points 120 and distance between these two points 76 okay now select extruded cut select this out outer side this inside holes and choose through all okay choose chamfer 50 mm select this end and this end okay now select this surface sketch draw a circle keep diameter 34 mm okay now select helix and spiral height 50 mm 6 mm choose reverse direction and degree 0 and choose here clockwise okay select right plane sketch normal draw a corner rectangle this is a 3 mm square okay now select now select this end point and this and click here pierce now this pierce okay now exit from the sketch select sweep cut 
choose this as a path select ok now see the geometry is ready now define polish the steel and save as a bridge ok now go for next part here next part is stud choose right plane is sketch draw a center line again choose a line and draw one vertical line and select this line for construction now choose line and start from origin point and connect up to end now select this line this three lines choose collinear this two lines also choose collinear as well as equal ok now assign dimension Twelve mm, twenty six mm. Select three mm. This distance keep fifty two mm. Hundred mm. And this length nineteen mm. So now our geometry is fully defined. Select revolve to boss base. Okay. Now choose chamfer. 2 mm select top bottom ok uh, delete it we want chamfer not fillet top and bottom now we will add some cosmetic thread annotation and cosmetic thread Select this ISO. Choose here twenty six, and the length select twenty, and face select this face twenty four. Okay. Now here also choose cosmetic thread. this face twenty six mm m twenty four ISO okay twenty six select ok now go to feature ok the threads are visible 
now save as start polish the steel okay now go for next part now we will sketch m12 stud so choose front plane sketch select corner rectangle and draw from origin point keep the length 70 mm and the width 6 mm select revolve boss base choose this as axis okay now select chamfer keep 1 mm both the end select okay now we will assign some cosmetic thread annotation cosmetic thread select the edge choose iso select blind and here select this face and here select m12 and height keep 40 mm select okay now again choose m cosmetic thread select this edge and select this face choose here m12 and the length keep 14 mm only select okay now assign some color metal steel and satin finish stainless steel okay then the second one it is sometime it happens okay now save it is start 12 now go for next part now we will create a 20 mm stud so choose right plane sketch select corner rectangle and draw one rectangle keep length 74 mm and 10 mm select revolve boss base choose this as axis okay now choose chamfer select 2 mm select both end okay now choose cosmetic thread select this line top surface choose 20 mm select length 24 mm okay again choose cosmetic thread select this as a face 20 mm and 24 mm okay now assign material satin finish stainless steel cosmetic thread okay the second one also okay now save as stud 20 now go for next part now we will sketch gland next part 
so choose top plane sketch again choose line exit now select both the line and choose for construction okay now select circle and draw two circles and draw one line from this point to here now exit now define the dimension 38 mm and 12 mm okay select mirror select this line and mirror about this okay now again choose mirror and select all mirror about this line okay now define distance eighty eight mm sixty two mm and draw one circle in midpoint keep diameter thirty two mm 28 mm sorry now select extruded boss select this circle and this circle keep 12 mm okay now choose chamfer 50 mm select this end this end okay now choose front plane sketch normal draw one center line now exit select frame time choose line draw one geometry here now exit from the line now select this point and this inside circle make pairs assign dimension 30 mm okay and define the distance from here to this point 28 mm and keep the angle 60 degree select okay choose revolve boss base select okay now choose c now assign shade satin finish stainless steel now save as gland we will sketch hand wheel for wall so let's start choose right plane top plane sketch again choose line and draw one vertical line draw corner rectangle okay now select this line and origin point make 
मिड पॉइंट नो असाइन डिस्टेंस थर्टी एम एम डिफाइंड सर्कल कीप डायमीटर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एम एम एंड डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हियर टू दिस पॉइंट वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम सेलेक्ट ओके Select this line. Choose for construction. Now this line select and origin point. Now make midpoint. Okay. Now this one define top side twenty five mm. Select revolve boss base. ओके सेलेक्ट फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच चूज कॉर्नर रेक्टेंगल नॉर्मल चूज सेंटर लाइन एंड ड्रॉ वन सेंटर लाइन Now select these three lines. Make symmetry. Okay. Keep twenty mm. Now select extruded boss. Choose mid plane. Ten mm. Now select circular pattern. Select this as an axis. and keep this one four numbers okay now choose fillet select all top surfaces clear select okay Now again choose keep five mm back surface. Edit this feature. Make five mm. Now select back surface. Okay. Now see the handle is ready. Select this top surface. Is sketch normal. Now again choose center line. Now select three point choose center line. and define degree 45 now choose this okay now select this point and this line coincide now choose distance 25 25. Select extruded cut. Choose through all. Okay. Now our handle is ready. This is the handle for. Select satin finish stainless steel. This is the handle for. Stop wall. Now save as. Hand wheel. Okay. Now go for next part.
now we will sketch color for choose front plane select center line and draw a center line and draw one vertical line also now choose center rectangle and draw one rectangle keep the length 14 mm and the distance from here 18 mm and 11 mm select revolve boss base select this line for construction now choose revolve boss base ok now choose again front plane sketch select circle and draw one circle from origin point and keep diameter 4 mm and select extruded cut choose mid plane select ok now assign satin finish stainless steel this is the color for wall color ok now the next part we will create a pin for a wall so choose front plane sketch now select a line and start from origin point go back and draw a half circle and connect up to end point now exit select this line and this coincide now assign dimension radius keep 3 mm and the length keep 39 mm and height keep 2 mm ok now select revolve boss base select this line as axis ok now choose front plane sketch select normal choose circle and draw one circle here and keep diameter 1 mm and distance from here to this point keep 37 mm ok center point of circle and origin point in same line ok now select extruded cut choose mid plane and select through all ok now choose chamfer 1 mm and select this end ok chamfer edit select 0.5 mm ok now our pin is ready this is the pin for wall now assign some material satin finish stainless steel now save as a pin save now we will create next part wall filler so choose front plane sketch select center line and draw two center lines
exit select this line construction line now choose line draw a line like this exit choose mirror select this line and mirror about okay now select line and connect it again choose line connect it assign distance dimension 60 degree 43 mm and distance from here to this line Fourteen mm, twenty-eight mm. Now these are the distance. Now se select revolve boss base. Choose this as the axis. Okay. Now assign color. Assign raw material steel. stainless steel satin finish now save as v filler wall now the create next part now next part we will clear bush so select right plane center line exit now choose a line and start to draw from here now we will assign dimension keep 62.5 mm and 78 mm and this one Seventy-two mm. Keep the length forty mm, ten mm. Okay. Now sine angle one thirty-five degree. distance from here to this point 8 mm okay now choose revolve boss base choose this as a axis okay set in finish stainless steel now this is the bush of for wall seat save as bush save as now we will go for assembly now the next part we are going to create seat valve seat so let's start choose right plane sketch select line and draw one line vertical line from origin point select this line and choose construction now choose a line and start from origin point exit choose center point arc exit now assign dimension 35 mm 
35 mm and distance from here to origin point 69 mm and radius 125 mm ok now choose a line and draw a vertical line then a horizontal line then go back and draw a line then draw a one vertical line then go back and draw it and meet this point now exit now choose smart dimension select this point and this point 22 mm 135 degree this point and this point 6 mm and distance from here to this point now select this distance uh, let's say 56 mm keep this radius 5 mm Forty mm, forty mm. Okay. Select center line. Draw one center line. Exit. Select this point. This line tangent. Okay. Now define this line from here. 62.5 mm ok select line and connect one end to another end exit now choose revolve to boss base select this line this axis and choose this geometry ok now select here show the previous drawing again choose right plane sketch normal now choose three point R and draw one exit now define the length 150 mm ok now delete this relation now move it select this point and this line make coincide select ok now go to surface choose revolve to boss base ok now hide this now select top plane sketch select two times normal we want opposite direction ok now select this inside circle convert entities choose offset select 8 mm and select this inside line choose reverse ok now select circle and draw one circle in midpoint keep radius diameter 16 mm select a center line draw from one end to this end exit now choose a line draw from up to this mirror it select this line mirror about this point ok 
now assign distance keep 8 mm now select center line and draw one center line and keep radius diameter angle 45 degree okay now just mirror this mirror about this point okay now select this line delete okay now again choose center line exit and define angle 90 degree okay now select this both the lines choose mirror entity mirror about choose this line select ok now again choose a center line and up to this point exit select this line uncheck construction we want real line just mirror this line and this line mirror about this line okay keep angle 45 degree for both okay now select this line this line mirror about 45 degree okay now again choose this all lines mirror about select this line sorry now see is going to be mirror okay so now we selected all the parts choose trim entities and trim this portions inside portion also select ok now choose fillet keep 3 mm and select this all the corners select this inside also this line and this line this line and this line the same as here this line and this line and 
and select these all ends now the opposite end okay now again choose fillet 6 mm and select this inside this line this line select okay okay now we will ex extrude choose extrude cut select this portion select offset 130 mm reverse direction and choose up to surface select this as a surface okay now hide this surface assign the material stainless steel satin finish we miss something here edit sketch draw a circle from origin point okay now go to edit select this out here clear this out okay now this is our exact requirement now we got it do you understand now choose fillet select top surface a sketch Now select front plane sketch normal and draw one rectangle assign distance 19 mm 44 mm and distance from here to top assign 16 mm okay now select the center of rectangle and origin point in same line now select extruded cut choose mid plane and overall okay now select this surface sketch normal draw one circle and keep diameter 22 mm okay and select extruded cut and choose up to next okay see up to next now this is the main part of our wall seat wall seat is ready now you can save as wall seat so let's go for assembly we are going to start assembly of start wall stock wall so choose new assembly okay now browse the part first bring wall body okay plain white now choose front plane both wall and right click on the wall select float now wall is floating now we will select front plane mat 
and front plane of wall okay now right plane and right plane of wall okay now top plane and top plane of wall okay okay now right click and fix the body now the body is fixed now we will browse another part we will browse cover choose mat select this face and this face okay now choose this line and this it circle okay now here this one and inside this okay this side and this side okay okay now right click on this open part sketch edit select normal now we want to define a distance delete this distance and this will define 48 mm now exit save yes yes now bring another part a spindle okay select this a spindle mat and this now it is a spindle going up and down okay choose mat select a spindle okay now see spindle going up and down okay now bring another part uh, now we will bring stud press control and click this one and drag it we want two pieces okay so select mat select this body select this one multiple mat this face clear clear choose mat select this one clear okay now select this hole this one choose mat select this okay the same as here select this one and this hole okay now select this surface mat this surface as well as this surface now both fixed okay okay now bring another part now bring bridge okay now select mat select this and select inside clear
select this inside sir or bring line now choose mat select this line and this line okay now select this face mat and select this face okay now it is fixed select this one and select this hole okay now edit temporary line <coughs> now we will arrange some bolts go to library toolbox add ins Now choose ISO. And we will go for a bolt. Oh, sorry, nut. Hexagon nut. Bring this nut here. and we want m24 mm select okay and select one more now exit now select this face mat choose this this face and this face select okay now select this one and inside circle okay inside diameter and this one okay now this is fixed okay now we will arrange to fix this one Okay. Select mat. Clear. Choose this line and select this point. Okay. Okay. Bridge. select this mat and click suppress okay now we will assign one spring relation now we will make relation between these two so do one thing show temporary axis and main axis now click mat go to mechanical choose screw distance select spindle axis and bridge axis distance keep 6 mm okay now hide the axis now we will see whether it is going up and down or no this previous relation just hide it suppress is this relation suppress okay now uh, is going up and down see okay this one we will define later now browse the part now bring handle
डॉस चूज मैट ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस फेस और एनी ऑफ द फेस ओके दिस साइड एंड दिस साइड ओके नाउ जस्ट सेलेक्ट दिस फेस एंड दिस फेस ओके नाउ जस्ट रोटेट इट Now go to library. Choose din. Nuts. Here cap nuts. Bring a cap nut. Select M twenty four mm. Okay. Only one piece we need, so just drag it. Choose mat. Select this and inside. Reverse. Okay. Now select bottom face and this face. Okay. Now here select this face and this face. Equal. Okay. The same this face and this face. Equal. Okay. Now the our handle is fixed with the main body. Now we will insert another component. Now we will fix stud twenty mm. Just select this one and this one. Mat. Okay. Select this line and select bottom. Okay. Okay. Now go to library. ISO DIN. Nut. Hexagonal nut. And four zero three zero, and make twenty. Okay. Now exit. Now bring this nut here. Select this face. Met this face. Okay. Okay. Now we will make it mirror. So choose circular component pattern. Select this axis here. This axis clear. Choose the component one two. And we want six number. Select okay. Now those all are fixed. Now we will make one more component here. Bring, choose gland. Okay. Select this mat. Okay. Edit. Choose reverse. Now select this clear this circle and this circle. Reverse. Okay. 
okay now select this face and this face make relation keep distance 25 mm okay now insert component now here we want to bring one stud m12 uh, m12 stud okay press control and drag one more now choose mat cancel it make relation mat select this hole okay this mat this and select this hole okay now choose this face select this face now we will make some relation select bottom face mat choose this face keep distance 12 mm okay the same for this also this face and this face flip 12 mm okay okay now bring the nut and choose m12 okay okay cancel now choose mat select this okay select back surface of nut and the upper surface of this okay the same as here this one and this okay back surface of nut okay select both the surface so it will be same okay now just make right plane half select all the parts okay now this is the section view of now save this document as a assembly okay now you can see 
हॉथ रेट्स गोइंग डाउन सी इज गोइंग डाउन इवन यू कैन रोटेट विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस okay now bring another part collar section view okay now bring it down choose mat select inside clear okay select this one and select this this delete tangent delete now we will select this and inside concentric okay now this hole and this hole okay it is matching okay now browse one more part pin exit now this is the pin just drag on other side now choose section view okay now bring the pin here select this inside mat okay now choose this one and this one see the tangent relation okay now this is the tangent relation okay now browse another part bush section view now select this face mat this face okay select this face and this face okay now see it is fixed here okay now browse another part v filler open section view okay now bring v filler here choose this mat select this hole and this hole okay just select this and this face select okay now this is fill this is filler and it is already filled okay now we will go for next part now the last part remaining is uh, 
seat so just select right plane section view open insert component browse seat open section view okay now bring this part here choose section view in section view select seat open now seat here now select inside radius mat okay okay now the seats are fixed make it down see it's down after all it will come down and it will sit here this this is the exact position of seat and it will block the part now our assembly is ready i hope you enjoyed this tutorial section view now this is the full assembly of stock wall we created each and every part separately and assembled in solid works this all are nuts we taken from library and bolts and every parts we created see is going down we will see later how to rotate it now we will create some motion for this wall on uh, this handle so just select new motion open it right click disable choose motor and select this okay choose section view okay now let's play just down it now play see the wall and gate going up and down so this is the uh, procedure on operation of a gate wall stop wall i hope you enjoyed don't forget to share our channel and like our videos thanks for watching